is Win News. Tonight, a man goes on an alleged violent rampage through the streets of Belconnen. Parts of Canberra flooded as rain comes down thick and fast. And a Canberra driver calls for justice to be served, caught in the middle of the V-Dub scandal. Good evening, I'm Amy Duggan. A Canberra man is tonight behind bars, accused of wielding a machete through the streets of Belconnen, cutting the throat of a woman and injuring a taxi driver. Win News reporter Mia Glover has the details. It was here on Chandler Street that Imran Hakimi allegedly went on a violent rampage last night, damaging vehicles and injuring two people. The 32-year-old was allegedly armed with a 40-centimetre machete. It's alleged Hakimi opened the passenger door of a Toyota Corolla being driven by a woman before jumping inside the vehicle and cutting her throat. The woman managed to escape and run away. Several minutes after, Hakimi allegedly stopped a passing taxi striking the bonnet, yelling, I have lost my kids, I will stab you. The 32-year-old allegedly struck the cab driver with the knife, cutting his chin. Two passengers in the taxi then allegedly got out and restrained Hakimi to the ground until police arrived. Today, the prosecutor told the ACT Magistrates Court Hakimi resisted arrest and screamed at police, telling them he wanted to be shot. Hakimi's lawyer told the court his client doesn't remember the alleged incidents, admitting he was under the influence of alcohol at the time. Magistrate Karen Fryer refused bail, telling the court he would be a risk to the community. Hakimi is due to undergo a psychiatric assessment before fronting court again at the end of the month. Mayor Glover there. Close to 14 mils of rain fell in parts of Canberra in the space of an hour today during the lunchtime rush. At Tilopia Park, the downpour caused the stormwater drain to flood. The most soaked suburb in Canberra has been Gordon, with 27 mils falling in the past 24 hours. New South Wales Premier Mike Baird is supportive of Canberra's push for international flights, according to Chief Minister Andrew Barr. New South Wales recognise uh, the importance uh, of this as a, as a boost to tourism in the Canberra region. He says Canberra is stepping up its case for flights to more destinations, but ultimately it's a commercial decision for airlines. Our pitch to the airlines is more than just the 400,000 people who are inside the territory. Uh, it's the broader region and that, that broader catchment makes our case. The Chief Minister says a number of airlines have shown interest in flying internationally from Canberra. A Canberran caught up in the Volkswagen emissions cheating scandal says he wants justice to be served. Michael Ward is among more than 10,000 Australians taking part in a class action against the car maker, hoping to receive compensation. Next on Win News, is your sleep affecting your driving? And in sport, cricket hopefuls battle it out for a rookie contract with the Sydney Thunder. Welcome back. You're watching Win News. It's a question we don't often ask ourselves before stepping behind the wheel. Have I had enough sleep to drive? Researchers are now looking at ways to answer that very question with a new study to see how sleep affects road safety. To sport now and the Socceroos have got their World Cup hopes back on track easily, accounting for Kyrgyzstan 3-0 at Canberra Stadium. More than 19,000 fans flooded through the gates and they weren't disappointed. Skipper Mile Yedinak putting the Socceroos in front through a penalty just before half-time. Tim Cahill found the back of the net early in the second. All against him, on the ball, here's Tim Cahill, shakes, shoots, scores! Canberra's own Tom Rogic was introduced, much to the delight of the crowd. The Socceroos' visit to the capital wrapped up today. Canberra will have another reason to cheer for the Sydney Thunder in this year's Big Bash, with Mac Wright offered a rookie contract. The Western Creek all-rounder beating a number of other young talents to be named this season's regional rookie. And the Raiders have re-signed centre BJ Leilua until the end of 2018. That wraps up our sports. Stay with us. Hannah has all the weekend weather details next.
Good evening everyone. We have got some showers and thunderstorms forecast across the ACT tonight. Some showers will extend into the weekend becoming a little bit less likely into Sunday. Today for Sydney side is a warm day with 29 degrees, 21 for Ulladulla, 22 around Batemans Bay and Maria today and 23 for Bega and Marimbula. For the Snowy Mountains those temperatures as you can see were around the mid-teens so 13 for Threadbow, 22 in Cooma today and for Canberra 21 degrees was your top. So we've got this region of low pressure across western parts of the state helping to trigger some showers and storms that will continue across the ACT and most of eastern New South Wales tonight. Starting to ease out a little bit tomorrow but we still have a couple of showers forecast for parts of the region. So generally a cloudy day for the ACT tomorrow with a few showers and light winds. 19 degrees for Canberra tomorrow as well as Queen Beer. By Sunday it should generally be partly cloudy with a top of 21 degrees and warmer with fine weather early next week. Have a great night and Amy it's back to you. Thank you, Hannah. And that is with news for Friday night. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation. Win News, Regional Australia's number one news source.